Hi, this is Lucio Simone, and in this video we're going to demonstrate electrosurgery testing, both power and safety testing using the ESU 2400 and SA2600 with MyBC Mobile. Here we have the ForceFX generator that we're testing and the ESU 2400 that we're going to use to analyze the outputs. Now I've already got the cables already connected. We've done other videos for how to make the connections and which cables to use. So we're just gonna get right into testing here. Now the power for the Force FX is plugged into my SA2600. Because we're going to do safety testing later, we just made that connection now so that it's already ready to go. I have a foot switch simulator so that I can trigger the output of my generator and I have a phone running my BC Mobile. Now this could either be a Apple or uh, Android device. In this case we have a iPhone uh, that we're going to use. So the first thing I want to do on my BC Mobile is select the asset that I'm testing. We can do that either by selecting the drop down list or we can use the barcode scanner. I just press on the barcode and then I scan the barcode on the device I'm testing and my BC Mobile is loaded with that asset information. Then I will go down to the bottom of the screen and select the test mode and I'm presented with which equipment I want to test with. So it's showing all of the Bluetooth devices that are in the area, at least that it knows of. So it can see one SA2600 and it can see one uh, Bluetooth, uh, USB Bluetooth adapter. Now I've got that plugged into the front of the ESU2400. I could also plug it into the side and it would work just the same. So since we're doing the function testing first, I'm going to press test using the Bluetooth module on the 2400. This confirms on the screen that I have the correct asset selected. If I didn't, I could go back and select the correct asset. Um, there's no data yet, so I'm gonna go straight to test. And now I'm presented with uh, what options I want to test. So at the top of the screen, we can see RF energy, RF leakage, and CQM. These are the three main test modes that we can test using the 2400. So we'll start with RF energy. We've got a lot of functions on the screen of the ESU 2400. All of these functions can be configured using my BC Mobile. So we see on the screen here, we've got one reading. We could select uh, either two readings or more. And the screen of the ESU 2400 will adjust to match what we have selected on my BC Mobile. We can pick the averaging modes. Uh, all of the um, input modes, whether it's continuous or a pulsed waveform, whether it's isolated or ground referenced, and what load that we want. So let's just say that we want a uh, 300 ohm load. So I can clear that here, press 300, and now the ESU 2400 load bank has been updated to 300 ohms. We can activate the foot switch directly from um, the MyBC Mobile app. That's just like pressing the foot switch trigger here. Now that would require me to have one of the foot switch cables plugged into the foot switch output of the 2400 to trigger the generator. But if you remember, we have the foot switch simulator plugged into the generator, so all I have to do is press these buttons on that simulator. So now we've got measurements shown on the screen for milliamps and watts. We can go ahead and configure the generator for whatever power level we want to test. We can set that um, on the generator and then activate the output with the foot switch simulator. We'll see the readings on the ESU 2400 and these will also show on my BC Mobile. I can press the sample button and it will record that reading for me. If I need to make additional readings, let's say measuring coag, I can do that here, set the power level, press the coag button, and my measurement will show on my BC Mobile, press sample, and now that it's stored. And we can also see in the bottom right hand corner of the app that uh, the results shows a little red indicator with a quantity, the number of measurements that I've taken so far. We can continue on with the same thing for uh, bipolar testing or ligature, all the, the other output modes of the generator that you're testing. But for this purpose, let's just switch over to RF leakage testing. 
So the same kind of thing here. We have all of the settings available on the screen of the 2400. Those are available on the MyBC mobile app. We can set the load. We can set the measurement mode, how many readings are on the screen. All of that is configurable right here very easily. So we're going to do leakage mode 1A, which is from the active. We're going to measure from the active port to ground. So I don't need to connect the CQM load. I'm just going to plug that in. Oh, actually, I need to change cables to one that's shorted together so that I can trigger the generator because it won't allow me to trigger the generator without anything plugged into the bipolar or the uh, REM port. So I plug into the REM port. Now we can trigger the generator and I can measure the output of the generator. We've got, this is our leakage. We're measuring from the active port to earth ground. I can press sample and that gives me my reading on the my BC mobile. And now we can continue on to do um, any of the other ports. We could test monopolar 2, we can test bipolar in all of the various leakage modes. So we have leakage 1, 1A, 1B. 1B is for testing the REM port. Uh, leakage mode 2 and 3 are for testing the generator under load. We can also move over to CQM testing and that will allow us to simulate a CQM load for the generator. In order to, to do this test, we need a cable that has the pin on it. So this cable has the pin. The one that I took out of the generator does not have the pin. And this is what identifies to the generator whether or not it's measuring the uh, resistance in that cable. So we plug this guy in. And now we can connect this to our 2400, which is already set to REM test mode. Okay, and now we can see that the alarm is red, uh, saying that it doesn't like that resistance. Now for a split pad, it can't have zero ohms. So it knows that that's invalid. We can go in here and set this to, let's say 100 ohms. And now it still doesn't like that. So what we need to do is re-trigger uh, the measurement. So on my BC Mobile, I can press open circuit. That will disconnect the system and I can reconnect it. And now we have a green light on the force FX. So we can say for 100 ohms, it accepted that measurement. So I can say that's a pass. And now that's stored in the uh, record. Now, typically what will happen is if the resistance goes increases by a specific amount, and again, this is where we would follow the uh, procedure in the service manual. If the resistance goes up by say 25%, then um, let's go up another 25%. So now it knows that that resistance is too high, meaning that the split electrode has come off of the patient and it's in an alarm state. So we can say that's a pass because it should alarm. And then the same thing for, uh, for this split electrode. We can set this to say 15 ohms and we can decrease the resistance and we would look for the point where the generator goes to an alarm condition and here it happened at seven ohms. So we can say that's a pass. We can follow the uh, service manual procedure for checking out the REM function. For more information about our extensive line of BC biomedical products and products from our vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace online at bcgroupstore.com.